Well, part of the strategy that Chief Winstrom laid out today included building stronger connections with the diverse range of neighborhoods in Grand Rapids by engaging more with community based groups like Cure Violence. Yeah, organizers with Cure Violence gave their own presentation following the police chiefs. Michael Martin continues our team coverage tonight. He's live in the newsroom with their perspective on how to keep our neighborhood safe. Michael. Max, Jamie, while we're seeing big steps forward from the Grand Rapids Police Department, the chief acknowledged an important part of connecting with the people living and working in the city is to work closer with community action groups like Cure Violence. This this is part of the solution to violence reduction here in Grand Rapids. On Tuesday, the people behind Cure Violence Grand Rapids spoke about the successes they have seen in the eight months they have been operational. It's, but it's not the sole solution, nor is it a short-term fix. It's a long-term uh, way that we address uh, detecting and interrupting violence. Chief Eric Winstrom explained as part of the new direction of the GRPD, they will focus more energy on working with groups who have boots on the ground in the neighborhoods where they are seeing an uptick in reports of violent crime. They're out there every day. They're talking to teenagers, young adults. We take those high-risk individuals and we try to figure out what their needs are to change that behavior. Cure Violence works to identify young people more prone to violent behavior and provide them resources to change their outlook and day-to-day -day reality. They are boots on the ground. They're out there every day. They're canvassing, they're knocking on doors, they're talking to people. Uh, they're from the community, they have a high trust level in that community, and they're able to get results. Since the beginning, the team has engaged in 2,170 of what they call violence detections and interruptions, 980 with those deemed high-risk individuals, and 1,190 with medium-risk young people. They have made 12 visits to juvenile detention centers and received over 200 requests from parents to come meet and talk. If they're looking for a job, having trouble with housing, uh, maybe they didn't graduate from school so they could benefit from the, our education department or there, there could be a health and wellness factor in there. The group also works to mobilize the community around the young people who need help, such as local businesses and faith organizations. Is it having an effect? This question is in the process of being answered. The prediction indicates that cure violence is having some kind of positive impact. So while they've only been in operation for about eight months now, the city saw about an 8.1% decrease in gun crimes in the first three months of 2022 compared to that same period the year prior. For now, live in the newsroom, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.